welcome back to my channel guys it's your girl coco styles and on this channel we talk about beauty fashion lifestyle and styling so in today's video i just want to show you ladies some of the shoes that i'm going to be wearing this spring so if you don't know i wear a size 11 <laughs> so it's 10 and a half but i got wide feet so it's between an 11 12 and a 13 only because jimmy choo so i'm gonna show you some of, some of the shoes that i'm gonna be wearing and the brands that i like to shop at jimmy choo is known for really nice high shoes high heel shoes high heels sound like an old lady <laughs> however um this stuff is really narrow um, and it runs really small and I'll give you an example when the newest boots came out I'm not even sure what they're called but they have like a black and white zigzag I was going to pull that trigger never tried them on so I'm thinking maybe a 13 can fit but I went into the store and the calf area is so small I'm not even a big I'm tall but I'm not like super um, like thick that calf was so small so it's meant for someone that's really small and then I ended up seeing because I saw them for a while didn't see anybody with them and then I saw Karen Britchick with them on and I was like okay and then I saw them in the store so I was like okay I think she's small like she looks tall but I still think she's like on the, the smaller side so the shoes that I'm gonna be showing you as a tall girl these are the brands that I shop and if you struggle with finding shoes, I said this before, a lot of the higher end brands do carry larger sizes. Now, are they available all the time? No, because I think that, I think everyone's buying the shoes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so for us girls who sh already struggle trying to find shoes, it's even harder now because they're grabbing up the shoes as well. So I'm going to run through this video really quick. I do not want my battery to run out. <laughs> so let's get into the video. So I'm going to show you the first pair of shoes, which are these Sam, Sam, Stuart Weissman pumps. I think I've shown these to you guys before. The sun is like in the way. But these are really nice. The heel is not that high. Um, I wish they came out with these in black, but they didn't. They had like a suede, which was odd. I mean, it's odd to not have black, but then have a pop of color and then a suede pair. So Stuart Weissman, if you're watching, if you can get these in black, I'm sold. All right, so I'm gonna be wearing these. They're very comfortable. I did opt for a size 12 in these. People were saying that they ran big, but I got a size 12. Um, they are made in Spain, and it's a nice heel. It's not so much kitten heel, because kitten can be a lot shorter than this, but it's low, it's a low heel. Very comfortable, so these I'm gonna be wearing these, and check out Stuart Weissman if you do wear a size 11 to like, a, I wanna say a 13. The other shoes are gonna be now these are Sam Edelman. <laughs> now I'm looking for a slingback pair of white shoes because listen, I don't want to wear heel heels anymore. And these are still kind of high. They're not even high, but I'm just wanting to be like super comfortable. White pumps or white slingbacks, I'm going to be wearing. So if you do not have a pair of white shoes, get you a pair now I know a lot of people don't like white pumps so slingbacks are a little bit better or peep toe so some of your toes and stuff are showing but I'm gonna be wearing these a ton with like skirts and mostly pants like maybe linen pants or whatever depending on where I'm going so if I can get a lower pair I'll probably wear them more than these but definitely a white pair that I'm gonna be wearing that's in my closet today. <laughs> so everything that I'm going to show you is nothing new. I uh, had them for a while and they're pretty much like essential, essential sandals with the exception of one that I purchased last year, I believe. So a red pair and this white pair of pumps. And if you don't know, <laughs> I am a pump girl. <laughs> The other pair I'm gonna be wearing are these other Stuart Weitzman sandals, and they have more of like a block heel. But the reason why I like these is because 
they're they're not my nude but they're patent leather and I like them um, in this color so Stuart Weissman you guys like I said he actually carries a wide as well so if you do have a wider foot check them out because some of his shoes he does carry in wide and these are one of them so these I actually got these in a ten and a half wide because that's my actual size so I usually opt up for another size but I think the older I get my feet are just feeling bigger and bigger child so some strappy sandals is gonna be worn this spring for me and if you do not like strappy sandals always opt for like a peep toe or something like that peep toes are really nice my little brother said he doesn't like peep toes I don't know why <laughs> he told me that years ago um, but these are for me this spring and I have these in black as well I have a couple of nude sandals nothing nothing that is a match to my skin tone not too many brands come out with darker nudes which sucks but whatever so those two and I'll say this Stuart Weissman for some may not be the cheapest I just found out that Steve Madden actually goes up to a size 12 I never knew that so that was nudes for me and good news for the girls who who love to wear let me grab these girls who love to wear um Steve Madden shoes <laughs> sorry guys I had a stretch all right my Jimmy shoes these are just some sling bags. I've worn these a ton. These are a 43. Nice. You guys know I bought these in that lime green. <laughs> if I could find me a lime green bag, just a small one, I'll probably wear those a lot more. And that's probably what I need to be looking for. But these are the nude color pair. I should have gotten the, I mean, this is the ivory color pair. I should have gotten the nude color because it was like a taupe, really pretty. Um, but I'm going to be wearing these they're very comfortable again a very low heel for the girls who just don't feel like wearing like super high heels like listen don't be shamed child don't don't be shamed <laughs> don't be ashamed <laughs> I got these on sale the same as I got the other ones on sale so what I like to do is I like to put things in my shopping like my uh, wish list and then when it goes on sale I'll get it that way I'm just not buying everything that's out. I'm actually buying things that I actually want. And this is what I teach my clients a lot because impulse shopping and buying is at an all-time high, guys. I mean, the girls are buying so many clothes from like fast fashion brands and then it's just like they're not realizing how much money they're wasting because you got to replace it like not even a full year later so try to get things that's on your wish list especially when they go on sale and the last shoe is actually a sneaker and I'm gonna get another pair because <laughs> I have two colors right now but I want the black and white meaning the shoe is black and then this is like white or like an ivory my Sambas Girl, if you don't got a pair of Sambas, Sambas, I've always loved Sambas since I was like a kid. And when they came back out, I was just like, oh, this is for me. Now they are really flat. So I wouldn't recommend like walking with them. I did a walk the other day. I was fine walking. But when I got home, child, my feet, maybe they were just tired from the long walk, but these are not a good walking, um, a walking sneaker. However, they're very cute. They go with trousers, they go with skirts maxi skirts all that good stuff dresses like flary dresses so my sambas i'm gonna be wearing and they i wore these a lot for me to have walked a lot in these driving in these gotta be careful because of the suede on the side but um yeah you can tell i wore them by looking on the inside <laughs> but the bottom still looks good but these are the shoes in my closet that I'm gonna be wearing this spring I'm trying to utilize what I have before I buy anything new if I do get something new it's probably gonna be some white sling bags some nice low kitten heels um, and maybe like a red pair of sling bags and maybe like a pop of color besides red maybe like yellow or something like that maybe even green something but I am trying to be smart with my shopping like I've always done nothing too crazy so this is going to be for this spring for me you guys let me know what you're going to be wearing on your feet this spring if you want me to give any recommendations on places where you can shop if you do wear a size 11 and up 
holla at your girl I can do a whole separate video maybe I'll just do it anyway and show you guys some of the shoes that I would personally get as far as quality not really basing it off of the designer or the brand just solely based off of the quality if it's hundred percent leather then yes even if it's hundred and fifty dollars it could be a hundred percent leather if that makes sense so thank you guys for tuning into this video Again, you guys are going to be seeing me this spring in these shoes and probably some more that's in there. But these I know for sure. And the bags and stuff that I showed you guys in a couple of videos ago. But you guys are going to see me this spring. So if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco. We see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC.com. And my style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one, guys. Bye.